Scott Schiller, Haynes Garage, Charleston, South Carolina. Sitting here enjoying the day, watching some TV with my family. Mm, I gotta do something with that Bantam. I'm just gonna have to go outside. This is a vintage sun-made cover. You don't just see them like that anymore. I'm telling you, that's a quality craftsmanship. Got this nice chain across the back here with a turnbuckle to keep the sides from buckling out. But this is the piece de resistance. Look at that vintage light. I love it. Uh, that's a little bird poop on there. No, anyway. Awesome rubber conduit on the side. I'm going to show you how to restore this. When you're removing these old parts like this, you want to be really ginger and careful and take them apart very slowly, soak them down like a crawl or a, a PB blast or that kind of thing, and make sure you wear your safety glasses. I got not only one set, but I'm going to put the shield on. Now, I ain't going to put the shield on because I'll do it when I take this apart, but be very, very careful. You do not want to damage that vintage old piece. Hold on. off ginger just like I said all right so I got these conduit brackets and holders whatever you want to call them taken off and you see this rubber conduit network for the wires for the lights when I show you what was used for this, you're going to laugh. And I can't make this stuff up. It's a lawn garden hose. <laughs> okay, enough fun and jokes. What I'm going to do here is, is I'm going to try to remove this tub from the actual frame. So I'm going to go through here, and there's welds on the bottom here of this tub. And I'm going to just go through and cut them. Take a chisel and pry bar and get this tub away from here and uh, hopefully get in maybe a day or so. Uh, I'm going to take this to the sandblaster. I'm not blasting this thing down in the backyard for what it's going to take and what it'll do. There's quite a few layers of paint on this. I'm going to have to take off the fenders. Uh, that ought, shouldn't be too bad. They A bunch of tears and rips in them need repairs, but that's the fun and games for the day. I'm going to get at trying to cut these things and hopefully have something to show you in a day or so. Have fun, guys.